Fitting to have Mulder and Scully of the X-Files right above my radio here. This here is the Radio Shack 12-470 radio, four-band radio. And on November 25th, 2007, I owned this radio. And you can see from my blog here, I talk about what I did to this radio. This is the first, number one, first hacked 12-470. And then I put a... Uh, video of how to hack the 12-469 and the 12-470 on my YouTube site on that day, November 25th, 2007. You can go to, uh, you can see the origin of the ghost boxes by going to keyportparanormal.com. And uh, Steve Holte has a, uh, a little list there that shows the different hacks and, and who provided the hacks and on which day. And you'll see that I provided this hack to this radio on November 25th, 2007. But uh, just wanted to show you this. This one is a, uh, from the date code, you can see it's August of 2006, this radio itself. It's just a picture there, but you can see it actually on the, on the radio here too. Uh, it takes three AAA batteries and it all it's still working. I mean, I haven't turned this on for a, a while, but um, you can see it's on, right now it's on AM bands. And uh, let's see, it's got the different bands. It's got the, it's got the uh, weather bands uh, and also uh, FM also. So it's four different bands you can listen to or to scan. But uh, I just put it on AM. And if you just push the up or the down, it'll just start going without stopping. change bands. So I just wanted to show you, it's still working. The first Radio Shack 12-470 to be hacked documented <laughs> so just wanted to show that haven't done this for a while but uh just figured what the heck there you go what do you think